Welcome to our segment of Ideas for Businesses. Today's sample is the kiosk on the trade show floor. Let's start with a stat. We know that if you have 100 people walking by your booth, you have about three seconds to get the attention of just 10 people in that crowd who are actual buyers for you and prospects. Add to that, we also know that when you do have their attention, they will only retain no more than 10% of what they see. It's a bit of a tall order. So what is a company to do? How are they going to attract who they need, engage them while they have them on their floor, and then capture them so they can follow up with qualified leads later? Our sample that we're going to be showing you today is for Siltec, a trade show kiosk that was done after we'd aligned all their literature, collected it to build a full catalog, and then translated it and adapted the content for kiosks and interactivity. Here is our live view of the Siltec kiosk. We did it in digital publication, allowing us to create slideshows for the home page, showcasing people images, facility images, as well as product images that they wanted to showcase. If we tap the upper left-hand corner, we get a drop-down of their different products that's branded just like their catalog and their sell sheets. In this case, we're going to click Liquid Cylinders to see that specific product page. Each product page showcased the name of the product, description, and a little bit of additional information. A really great thing are the two other buttons, Specs Tables and Diagrams. We're going to go ahead and click the Specs Table button and go in there and see the different options that you have. You'll see pinch and zoom options so people can zoom in and see the different models that they want. And then they can click out of there with the X and go into the diagrams. Another thing that allowed us to do was to go in there and add services. Services are normally lots of information, but in this case we were able to hide it behind three different tabs, make it a little interactive. Here we have liquid cylinder repair. We can click on the next one for aluminum cylinder refurbishing and then on to cylinder testing. This allowed us to hide a lot of information, allow the viewer to choose what they wanted to see, and then move on to the next tab. The next great thing about all of this is conversion. You'll notice two different buttons, contact us for more info, as well as tap here to request our catalog. If we go ahead and click on contact us for more information, you pull up this next window. So now we have the product information request. I've gone ahead and filled in the information in advance with my company information. And then I'm going to continue. The great thing about creating forms and capture leads is that you can get specific information. So it's really good to think ahead of what kind of information is going to help you gather the leads that you need um, to get real return at the show. In this case, the client wanted to list their different products. Um, so we're going to say, yeah, I want more information about aluminum industrial, liquid cylinders, and, and your services. And then I'm going to say, contact me by email or phone, and I'm going to say email. Um, and if I was an exhibitor, in this case they wanted to talk to different exhibitors at the show, we actually put what their booth number was so that they could gather that information and go talk to them during the three days of the show and do some lead follow-up while there. They can put in that stuff. And in this case, we also wanted to add a option for them to be added to a newsletter because they're building their database for email um, marketing. We're going to hit Submit, and in this case, it comes up with a nice little information. Now, in this case, the client did not have their CRM system set up, but they wanted all of that information so that they could then funnel it into their CRM afterwards. So in this case, we used a free service, um, but you can definitely connect this to a number of different marketing engines. HubSpot um, are ones that I think of, as well as Pardot, and that connect into Salesforce. And that's it. That is our product sample for today, and we hope you enjoyed your preview of what a kiosk can do.